Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am Steph, I am a hairdresser in Edinburgh in Scotland and I have finally started to be consistent on my YouTube channel. I am absolutely delighted with myself so go me. Um, so basically today I am um, in the, still in the UK lockdown and my hair is just like really really brassy and orangey. I haven't actually used silver shampoo on it since way before Christmas and I've basically been washing my hair like every single day. So I've decided that I'm going to make a little video showing you how I silver shampoo my hair. So I tend to get a lot of my brassiness like underneath here which is from like tan and things. It is always much much darker and much much more like orangey here than it is like in the hair up here so I really want to try and eliminate some of this brass I might not be able to eliminate it all because obviously I do actually need my hair done it is absolutely disgusting the amount of roots that I have I'm used to having so much more blonde up here but I didn't even have time to have my hair done before we broke off for Christmas because we were so busy with squeezing all the clients in because obviously the UK national lockdown had been announced so yeah I I'm in desperate need of some TLC to my hair so I'm just going to ash it up and get rid of all these brassy warm bits and hopefully get it a nice sort of like cooler ashier blonde. So today I'm going to be using my favourite Redken products. I absolutely love Redken. I am such a Redken diehard and um, yeah I'm so grateful that I've been introduced to the brand. So the shampoo that I'm going to be using on my hair is the Redken Extreme Lens. I've actually been using this for the last month and I have made a video where I'm introducing the products and then I'm going to be showing you how I get on a month down the line and how um, I find that the shampoo is working. I'm also going to be using the Redken Colour Extend in Blondage. This is the purple shampoo. It is like a purple mask. Um, I cannot wait to use it. Um, it is totally needed considering that my hair is just so brassy. So it basically is an express anti-brass. It's an ultra pigmented purple mask for super cool blondes, which is ticking every single box of what I need. So I am just going to start off by washing my hair using the extreme lens shampoo and then going to apply the mask and then I am going to condition. So let's get started. So I'm back and I have just finished washing my hair. So I have let it sit in this towel for about five minutes. I haven't put any conditioner on or anything. So I'm just going to towel dry the hair a little bit more. And then I'm going to brush it through. So obviously because I haven't put any conditioner on, you have to be really quite gentle when you've got blonde hair, especially like mine, which is quite damaged and quite broken. Um, I all start at the ends and just like work my way up. I'm using the Lady Lux wet brush, which the bristles just really flex through the hair. So they're so easy for detangling. So I'm just brushing all the hair through because I'm obviously I'm going to be applying the mask to my hair. Always better to wear gloves. So I'm just going to be putting my hair into the middle part in, which is where I wear it. And I'm going to use this little clip and I'm going to section the top half of my hair up. So the reason that I'm sectioning the top half of my hair up is because it's the underneath area that is really, really sort of orange and brassy. And I want to saturate the hair underneath with all the pigments so that it can get much more cooler and eliminate all the brassy tones. So I'm going to be leaving this on for a little bit longer than I am on the top because I don't want it to be too silver and I don't want it to be like that murky way. I just want it to be a lot um, brighter and remove all the brassiness. So I am just going to put my towel around my neck just because I don't want to get any of the purple on me. So I am just going to keep applying it all on to the underneath of my hair. I'm just rubbing it in my hands and then applying it to the ends of my hair. Obviously because I have a blonde balayage, I don't have any blonde up at the top. So I am just going to be applying it to my blonde areas. So I'm then just going to bring the top layer down 
and again apply it in my hands rub it all up and I'm just going to drag it through because I don't want it to be too ashy on the top because it's the underneath section that is really my target point because it's quite brassy just going to apply a little bit more And now that is me, I am going to leave this on for a few minutes and then shampoo and condition and we will see the final results. So I'm back again, I have let my hair dry in this towel for probably about 20 minutes. I always just like to let my hair naturally dry um, before I start doing um, blow drying. So I always really want it to be 80% just so that I'm not using as much heat on it. So I'm going to take it down and just going to give it a wee brush through. I'm going to put it back into my middle part in. It already looks so much better. The blonde is already so much cleaner. So I'm now just going to apply my Redken One United, which is 25 benefits in one, and one of them is heat protection. So I am going to blow dry. So this is me just finished blow drying my hair and I absolutely love the results. My blonde hair is just looking so much cleaner. It's looking so much brighter and it's just looking all round fresh. I still have a little bit of um, brassy bits but sometimes you need to get a build up of silver shampoo on your hair. It's not overly ashy. I actually hate that overly ashy build up look. I mean, it's obviously personal preference. If you love that, you love having silvery hair, then that is um, for you. It's just not for me. So um, I would advise leaving the mask on for much longer. So I left the mask on for just a few minutes and then rinsed it and conditioned. Whereas it does advise on the back of the bottle to leave on for five minutes. But if you want to have a much more intense sort of purpley hue or like a really, really ashy tone, then I would leave it on for 10 minutes. And I would also use it every time you wash rather than like using it every other wash. But just because I wanted it to have it like a lot brighter and a lot cleaner without having that like horrible built up blonde look then I am really, really happy with the silver shampoo. So if you want to see more hair videos and more tips, um, which are all hair related, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.